Kern County Sheriff's deputies are teaming up with the Kern Council of Governments to crack down on litter bugs. Both agencies are working with $300,000 to put a stop on littering in three different new ways. 23 ABC's Lindsay Adams is in our studio now to tell us how it works. Lindsay? Thanks, Jackie. Several sheriff's deputies are being paid overtime hours to ticket litter bugs east of Highway 58. The extent of the fine depends on what you toss out of your car window and how often you're caught littering. The Kern Council of Governments charges $1 for every local car registration to help maintain call boxes. But if they need to ramp up safety efforts, the council could dip into the $300,000 they have saved up. Addressing litter pickup in Metro Bakersfield through a contract with the City of Bakersfield and the homeless shelter. A contract with the Sheriff's Department uh, for more litter pickup using uh, jail inmates. The third and final litter pickup enforcement efforts are deputy overtime hours. The overtime is about 20 hours a week with seven additional deputies patrolling the streets countywide. $100,000 of the money from the council will be used to pay for these extra efforts. And we're not uh, prepared, I don't think ne neither is the Sheriff's Department, to actually tell everyone exactly where they'll be and what times they'll be out there because that that may defeat the purpose of it. If you're caught littering, the fines can vary from $50 to a couple of hundred dollars depending on what it is you're throwing away and how many times you're caught doing it. Fines go up dramatically from first offense to second offense to third defense. Uh, the, the fines increase exponentially. Other local organizations are also doing their part to clean up areas within the community. Garden Pathways held a cleanup effort this past weekend in the 34th Street Homemaker Park area. Working together with residents, but not only cleaning up on the outside, but helping to improve the quality of life, both on the inside and on the outside. Now the president of Garden Pathways also adds they're helping residents in the area find employment, advance educationally, and be self-sufficient. In the studio, Lindsay Adams, 23ABC.